Jacqueline Fernandez is a Sri Lankan actress, model and the winner of the Miss Universe Sri Lanka pageant of 2006 who predominantly works in Hindi films. In 2009, she debuted with Aladdin and since then has established a career in the Hindi film industry. Fernandez was born and raised in Bahrain to a multiracial Eurasian family of Sri Lankan, Canadian, and Malaysian descent. After graduating in mass communication from the University of Sydney and working as a television reporter in Sri Lanka, she joined the modeling industry. She was crowned Miss Universe Sri Lanka in 2006, and represented her country at Miss Universe 2006. While on a modeling assignment in India in 2009, Fernandez successfully auditioned for Sajoy Ghosh's fantasy drama Aladdin, which marked her acting debut. Fernandez had her breakthrough role with the psychological thriller Murder 2, her first commercial success. This was followed by glamorous roles in the commercially successful ensemble comedy Houseful 2 and the action thriller Race 2, which garnered her and Fefe Award for Best Supporting Actress nomination. Fernandez went on to star in the top-grossing action film Kick and the comedies Houseful 3 and Judva 2. Alongside her screen acting career, Fernandez has worked as a judge in the ninth season of the dance reality show Chalak Diklaja. Is a popular celebrity endorser for various brands and products, has participated in stage shows, and is active in humanitarian work. Jacqueline Fernandez was born on August 11, 1985, in Manama, Bahrain, and was raised in a multi ethnic family. Her father, Elroy Fernandez, is a Sri Lankan burger, and her mother, Kim, is of Malaysian and Canadian descent. Her maternal grandfather is Canadian. Her father, who was a musician in Sri Lanka, moved to Bahrain in the 1980s to escape civil unrest between the Sinhalese and Tamils and subsequently met her mother, who was an air hostess. She is the youngest of four children with one elder sister and two elder brothers. After receiving her early education in Bahrain at Sacred Heart School, she studied mass communication at the University of Sydney in Australia. After graduating she did a couple of television shows in Sri Lanka. She also attended the Berlitt School of Languages, where she learned Spanish and improved her French and Arabic. According to Fernandez, she had aspired to become an actress at a young age and fantasized about becoming a Hollywood movie star. She received some training at the John School of Acting. Although, she was a television reporter, she accepted offers in the modeling industry, which came as a result of her pageant success. In 2006, she was crowned the winner of the Miss Universe Sri Lanka pageant and represented Sri Lanka at the World Miss Universe 2006 pageant held in Los Angeles. In a 2015 interview, Fernandez described the modeling industry as a good training ground and said, it is a medium that is about shedding your inhibitions, knowing your body, confidence. In 2006, she appeared in a music video for the song Osadi by music duo Bathia and Santush and young female singer Maria Sinhawansa. In 2009, Fernandez traveled to India for a modeling assignment. She successfully auditioned for Sajoy Ghosh's fantasy film Aladdin her acting debut. She played the love interest of Raitish Deshmukh's character, a role based on the character of Princess Jasmine. And Rajiv Maysand of CNN-IBN felt that she was, easy on the eyes and appears confident but has precious little to do. Although the film was a critical and commercial failure, she won the Fefe Award for Star Debut of the Year, Female. Fernandez at an event for her film Race 2 in 2013 and 2010, Fernandez appeared opposite Deshmukh in the science fiction romantic comedy Johnny Kahan Se Aie Hai. She was cast as a girl from Venus, who lands on Earth in search of love. The film, along with Fernandez's performance, received poor reviews, read if. Kam Sukanya Verma noted, she gamely makes a fool of herself while staping the actions of movie stars, ranging from Sri Devi's Nijin dance, Mitun Chakravarti's disco dancer moves, to Big B's violent head shake in. Hum. Her Tara could be a keeper if only John A. Kahan say Aie Hai wasn't so intent on turning her into a love-struck Barbie. Critic Anupama Chopra also criticized Fernandez, calling her a pinprick on a balloon. Later that year, she made a special appearance in the song Dano for Sajid Khan's comedy Houseful. Mahesh Bhatt's thriller Murder 2 was Fernandez's first commercial success and marked a turning point in her career. She took on the role of Priya, a lonely model who is in a confused relationship with Arjun Bhagwat. Fernandez was praised for her performance, and for the boldness and sex appeal she displayed in the film. Gaurav Malini of the Times of India stated that she was tastefully tempting but noted that her romance with Hashmi was literally half-baked. The following year, Fernandez appeared in the ensemble comedy Houseful 2 alongside Akshay Kumar, John Abraham, and Asin. 
It became one of the top grossing productions of India that year and earned 1 rupee. 86 billion worldwide. Fernandez received mostly negative reviews for her performance. While Gaurav Malini praised her for her looks, NDTV called her a blathering bimbo who find s, no pleasure in, her role. Despite the negative reviews, Fernandez received a Best Supporting Actress nomination at the 14th FFA Awards for her performance. Fernandez's first release of 2013 was Race 2, an ensemble action thriller, described as the cinematic equivalent of a trashy novel by critic Rajiv Maysand. She played Amisha, a femme fatale, a role which required her learned fencing and some acrobatics. The film emerged as a commercial success, with the domestic gross of more than 1 billion rupees. In a particularly scathing review, Saibal Chatterjee of NDTV wrote that both Fernandez and Padukone strut around like wound-up automatons that are all decked up. But have nowhere to go. Also that year, Fernandez appeared in an item number, titled, Jadu Ki Juppi, for Prabhu Deva's romantic comedy Ramaya Vastavaya. In 2014, Fernandez appeared in Sajid Nadiadwala's directorial debut, the action film Kick, a remake of a 2009 Telugu film of same name. She starred opposite Salman Khan, playing Shaina, a psychiatrist. She retained her real voice for the first time in Kick. While Sneha May Francis commented that she is, incredibly dazzling, and moves like a magic, Raja Sen of Rediff. Kam was more critical of her dialogue delivery, calling it unfortunate. The film received mixed reviews from critics, but with worldwide revenue of over 3 rupees. 75 billion, it became the fourth highest grossing Bollywood film. The film established Fernandez as one of the most popular Bollywood actresses. In 2015, Fernandez featured in Vicky Singh's Roy, a romantic thriller, which critic Sarita A. Tanwar described as a boring, exhausting and pretentious film. Fernandez played dual roles, Aisha Amir, a filmmaker in a relationship with another filmmaker and Tia Desai, a girl in love with a thief. While India TV called it her best act till date, Critic Rajiv Maysan felt that she appears miscast in a part that required greater range. Roy failed to meet its box office expectations, and was a commercial failure. Later that year, she appeared in a guest appearance for the comedy satire Bangistan. Fernandez at the promotions of A Gentleman with Siddharth Malhotra, 2017 Karan Malhotra's action drama Brothers was Fernandez's next release. Co-starring alongside Akshay Kumar and Siddharth Malhotra, Fernandez played Jenny, a fearless mother struggling for her child, a role which she described as challenging, intense, and difficult. The role marked a departure from the glamorous characters that she had a reputation for portraying. Driti Sharma of Z News called her character soft, timid and promising, and praised her for, convincingly pulling, off a pleasing character of a street fighter's wife. Film critic Subhash K. Ja noted that she, in a limited role gives her finest emotive shot, while critic Raja Sen remarked, she, plays Kumar's long-sobbing wife who gets so deliriously happy. On seeing a text message that it may well have contained news about a kick sequel. Later that year, she starred in the horror thriller Definition of Fear, which marked her Hollywood debut. Fernandez began 2016 with a role in the sequel to Houseful 2. The ensemble comedy film paired her with Akshay Kumar as her love interest. The critic for First Post was disappointed with the picture and criticized Fernandez for her inclination towards a film, where she is treated as nothing more than a visual attraction. Nevertheless, the film was a commercial success, grossing 1 rupee. 88 billion worldwide. Her next film, the action-adventure Disham, also grossed 1 billion rupees at the box office. Later that year, she served as a judge to the ninth season of the dance show Chalak Dikla Ja. In 2017, Fernandez appeared in Chandran Rutnam's English Sri Lankan crime thriller according to Matthew. The film was her maiden cinematic appearance in Sri Lankan cinema as well. The film was released in Sri Lanka on April 7, 2017 in cell theaters with the title in Eurogini. Her next film was the action comedy A Gentleman, with Siddharth Malhotra from the director duo Raj Nidamuru and Krishna DK. The film was poorly received by critics and was a box office flop. Later that year, she appeared in David Dawan's comedy film Judva 2, opposite Varun Dawan and Topsi Panu. It was a sequel to the 1997 comedy film Judva. The film proved to be a box office success. In 2018, she starred alongside Salman Khan in Race 3, the third addition to the Race franchise. Fernandez is filming Taran Mansukhani's next, Drive Opposite Sushant Singh Rajput. She is set to star in the Netflix original film, Mrs. Serial Killer, directed by Shirish Kunder. 
she is also set to feature with Akshay Kumar for the fourth time in a gangster drama Bakshan Pandey. Fernandez live at Bollywood Showstoppers, 2014 Fernandez shares a close bond with her family, and admits that she misses being around them. She says, I miss them so much every day. You don't realize when you live away from home how difficult life can be, at the same time, staying away from them has taught me to be more responsible. It has taught me so many things about myself. About priorities and time management. In 2008, Fernandez started dating Bahraini Prince Hassan bin Rashid Al Khalifa, whom she met at a mutual friends party, they separated in 2011. While filming Houseful 2 in 2011, Fernandez began a romantic relationship with director Sajid Khan. The relationship attracted media coverage in India and there was speculation of an impending wedding. However, the relationship ended in May 2013. Fernandez has supported charitable organizations and a number of causes. For advocating the welfare of animals, Fernandez was named Woman of the Year by PETA in 2014. Fernandez has participated in several concert tours and televised award ceremonies. In 2013, she performed at the Temptations Reloaded in Auckland, Perth, and Sydney alongside Shah Rukh Khan, Rani Mukherjee, and Madhuri Dixit. She also performed at the live talent show Got Talent World Stage Live with Khan, Priyanka Chopra and Varun Dawan the following year. In July 2014, Fernandez opened a restaurant in Colombo, Kima Sutra, in collaboration with chef Darshan Muni Dasa, which specializes in contemporary Sri Lankan cuisine. In July 2018, Fernandez co-founded her activewear clothing lineup, Just F. She landed up in a controversy after her relationship with con man Sukesh Chandrashegar regarding money laundering. Fernandez at Lakme Fashion Week, 2016 in 2008 and 2011, Fernandez featured in the UK magazine Eastern Eyes World Sexiest Asian Women list, ranking 12th. She was ranked third on the Times of India's listing of the most desirable woman in 2013 and 2014, after being ranked 8th, 7th and 14th, respectively, in the preceding three years. In 2013, Redif. Khan placed her on their list of Bollywood's best-dressed actresses. The following year, she held the 62nd position in the Indian edition of the Forbes Celebrity 100, a list based on the income and popularity of India's celebrities. In early 2013, Fernandez became the ambassador for HTC One, which she endorses in India. She was the face of Indian Bridal Fashion Week, IBFW of 2013. Later that year, she became the spokesperson for Gareth Pugh's Design Forevermark Diamonds in Mumbai, and was at the inaugural opening of the Forever 21 store in Mumbai. That year, she also launched a let shaving system with Arbaz Khan and Aditya Roy Kapoor. While analyzing Fernandez's career, India TV noted, Slowly and steadily Jacqueline Fernandez is climbing up the ladder of success, Jacqueline is comfortably grasping every aspect of the work, which an actress is required to do and is accordingly giving results. On the contrary, Charu Thakur of India today criticized her acting skills, but remarked that, she has, managed to find her feet in Bollywood now by banking on glamorous roles. In 2017, Fernandez invested 35 million rupees in Reiki and Beverage's raw pressery. The company claimed that with this investment, Fernandez became India's first celebrity to part finance a consumer products firm. Fernandez has won numerous awards mainly for her works in Houseful 2, its sequel Houseful 3, Murder 2, and Race 3. Thanks for watching.